Hi YouTube, I am here with Wilhelmina and Ethan and my new baby. Yes, do not adjust your screen. She is gray because she is a little alien baby and her name is XO. XO, XO. I love her so much. She's awesome. She's very super cuddly and she's just amazing. Um... Yeah, so I wanted to talk to you about selling or deciding to sell should you sell your silicone or reborn. I just recently sold Zasha, who was Savannah, and she was a reborn that I made. And I was having baby fever, and when I made her, I was like, I'm going to keep her because I really wanted a baby. So I kept her, but it didn't, I guess I have issues with um keeping a doll that I made because in my mind I just feel like I made it for somebody now of course there's no name and no person in mind when I was making her but it just didn't feel right for me to keep her so I decided to sell her and she just sold so congratulations to the new owner um but yeah it got me thinking about selling reborns and then why we do it so I came up with the top five so starting with number five the first reason why we would sell one of our dolls is buyer's remorse now of course buyer's remorse can happen on anything any object that we buy so you get the the object or you get the doll and it's just like I shouldn't have bought this doll for whatever reason, it could be you got the doll and it was too much money or it was my flash just went off because my battery is low. But anywho, um, yeah, so it could be because it was too much money that you felt that. So basically what I'm trying to say is. You bought the doll, you paid a certain amount of money for the doll, and when you received the doll, you felt like it wasn't worth the money that you paid for, so you might have buyer's remorse and try to put it back out there and sell it. That happened to me before, the exact same situation. And you got to be careful what you buy because when you look at a doll for a certain price, you assume, okay, it's going to be quality, and that's not always the case. So, yeah, be very careful. All right. So, yeah, number five was buyer's remorse. Number four, you haven't played with the doll in a while. So that's another thing that can happen. You have a collection of dolls and there's just that one or two dolls that are sitting there and you look at them, you walk by them, you think, I need to play with you, but you don't actually put in the effort <laughs> and go play with the doll. So if you haven't played with the doll, you're probably thinking, well, do I really need this doll? Should I sell this doll? That might be a reason why you want to sell the doll. Number three, you have too many dolls in your collection. Wow. Wow. Yeah, just ponder that. Just think on that for a minute. Too many dolls in your collection. So you're trying to downsize your collection. So what do you do? You sell a doll. Yeah. Time to downsize. Time to get rid of some dolls. It's just too many, too much attention, too much time that you have to pay to each doll. And you don't have enough time to give each doll enough attention. So it's kind of similar to the last one. But if you have too many dolls in your collection, you might be considering getting rid of a doll okay number two you need money wow yeah that's another wow moment because these dolls do cost you know a good amount of money if you need money push comes to shove you might have to sell or want to sell a doll now sometimes we sell dolls because we want to get another doll and that's cool too Either way, you need the money. So that might be a reason why you want to sell your doll. You need the money straight up. It is what it is. T 
time to get some more money in your pocket. And the last one, number one, is you're not bonding with your doll. That one is, I think, the saddest one of all. And there's several reasons why people don't bond with their dolls. It could be the doll doesn't look real enough, you know. You bought the doll, it's a reborn. Reborn is supposed to look real, and it just doesn't look real. Look at Ethan here. Ethan looks really real right now. <laughs> I'm real proud of Ethan. He's a good doll in my collection. Ethan Ethan is amazing. Um, he was um, a yogi. He's a yogi baby. But some dolls just, you just, they just don't have the look. They might be too big, too small, too not weighted right. Um, might have a funny smell to it. I mean, it could be anything that makes you not bond with your doll. And you know it because you look at that doll and it's just like, you just can't, like for whatever reason, you just can't go over to that doll and bond with that doll. So yeah, that's it. Those That's the top five reasons you're thinking about selling your doll. Those might be some of the reasons that you're considering selling. And it's all good. It's all good. Do what you need to do. Nobody's going to hate on you. And if they do, hey, we all have haters out there somewhere in the world. Just let them hate. Haters going to hate. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. So are you going to sell your doll? Hmm. Something to think about. All right. Thanks, YouTube. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for watching this video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.